Well, I'm excited about being here, of course. Nice to see all of you. Every time I hear these testimonials, it says to me one more time, this is why I'm here. And then when I hear the training, giving ideas on how all of you can go from where you are to where you'd like to be, I say to myself, this is why I'm here. And then for the friends that I've made over the years, starting 23 years ago, when I meet Jerry, see what's happened to her, Doug Stunts, Frank Lutz, some of those very first distributors, see their success, see their organizations represented here today. And they are my very dear friends. And I say to myself, this is why I'm here. And um, these testimonials about what these products can do and what the opportunity can do for people who will just start, apply what you know to start. You can learn as you go and go as far as you'd like to go. And I say to myself one more time, this is why I'm here. And then to have all of you welcome me as you did, I say to myself, this is why I'm here. So for just the next few minutes now, to wrap up the day, I'd like to have you take these notes. If you're ready, say, I'm ready. It's interesting how people along the way dramatically affect your life. I was reminiscing this morning. I got up early. I'm 25 years old. I'm married. I've been working six years. Went to college for a year. I got a little family. And I'm behind on my big mouth promises, not feeling that good about myself, working hard, trying to make it go, but falling a little behind. Creditors calling once in a while saying, you told us the check was in the mail. I'm embarrassed by all of that. Then the final story, I hear a knock on my door one day. And I go to the door, and there's a little girl about this tall selling Girl Scout cookies. And she gave me the big pitch on Girl Scout cookies, finest organization in the world. We got these cookies, only $2. Support the Girl Scouts. No problem, I wanted to. And with a big smile, she politely asked me to buy. I did want to buy. Big problem. I didn't have $2 in my pocket. So I thought, I can't tell her that. So I thought, well, next best, I lied to her. And I said, look, I've already bought lots of Girl Scout cookies. I've still got plenty in the house that we haven't eaten yet. She said, well, that's wonderful. Thank you very much. And she leaves. When she leaves, I say to myself, I don't want to live like this anymore. I mean, how, how low can you get lying to a Girl Scout? I mean, that's, that's as low as it gets. So I promised myself that day it would never happen again. So I started searching for opportunity. Very quickly met another man who drastically changed the course of my life. His name was Mr. Earl Schoff. You that have listened to my cassettes and read the books and are acquainted with my material know the name Mr. Earl Schoff. He's the one that introduced me to health and nutrition as a product. I'd been practicing it you know, for a long, long time, thanks to my mother, one of those great influences in my life, my mother, who studied and practiced health and nutrition. And so I've been healthy all my life, needed to lose a few pounds, or gain a few pounds when I found Herbal Life. You know, I've been skinny all my life. In high school, I turned sideways. They called me absent. I mean, I, I was skinny. But sure enough, I get a hold of Herbal Life, gain those extra pounds that have served me so well now to travel the world. So my mama was a great influence on my life. My father, let me give you my father's seminar in two sentences. Here it is. Always do more than you get paid for. This is from my father. Always do more than you get paid for to make an investment in your future. That seminar worked so well with Herbalife. 
Getting a customer may be fairly easy, getting someone to buy. Getting them to use the product a little more difficult. You've heard me tell the story. You call Mary, say, Mary, how are you doing? Mary says, I'm not losing weight. You say, that's impossible. She said, I tell you, I'm standing on the scales right now and I'm not losing weight. And you have to say, Mary, the product doesn't work while you're standing on the scales. <laughs> or whatever you can think of. She says, no, it's not going to work for me. And you say, Mary, what day is it? She says, it's Friday. And you say, I forgot to tell you, this product works better on the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, people lose weight like crazy. Come on, Mary, use the product. And she finally says, okay, I'll start using the product. That's called the work after the sale. So if you do more than you get paid for, especially in Herbalife, it's the testimonials that drive the business. So do that extra work. The work to sell, yes, but then the work to get somebody to use the product. Mark's major goal was not to sell Herbalife. Mark's major goal was to get people to use Herbalife. Herbalife wasn't started with a sale. Mark got his grandmother to use the product. He didn't sell it to her. You got to be pretty tough to collect money from your grandmother, right? <laughs> so Mark gave the product to his grandmother. So make this note now, Herbalife was started with a gift. But Mark was certain that if his grandmother used the product, she'd have great results, and that's exactly what happened. And the results that she got and her testimonial quickly got Mark 25 more customers. So my father's advice was good. My mother said study and practice health and nutrition. Then I meet this extraordinary man, Mr. Earl Schof. He's the one that introduced me to health and nutrition as a product and a business. And then he's the one that started giving me that early philosophy that I shared with Mark when I met him when he was 19 for things to change. You've got to change. For things to get better, it's not what happens that determines your future. It's what you do about what happens. Direction determines destination. All you've got to do is make a little change in direction to arrive at a brand new destination in two years, three years, five years. I learned all that incredible philosophy from this unique man, Mr. Earl Shove. Became a distributor of health and nutrition, age 25, started part-time. Here was my first goal, to earn as much money part-time as I was making on my full-time job. So make this note now for this day's wrapping up uh, information. Here it is, the magic of being part-time. Way back in those early days, if I'd put an ad in the paper and somebody would call and say, I'm out of a job, what have you got? I'd say, look, get a job and call me. The business I've got works better part-time. Here's why. Part-time, the extra money you earn can greatly change your lifestyle, and a change of lifestyle is a great recruiting tool. So show people the value of part-time. Then my mentor taught me if I started part-time, I could have a great testimonial that went like this. I'm working full-time on my job, and I'm now working part-time on my fortune. It's so exciting to go to work part-time on your fortune. Yes, it's fun to make a little extra money. Yes, change your lifestyle. But I developed a whole new philosophy. That's why within less than six months, I was making more money part-time than I was making on my full-time job. Here was my next goal, to make twice as much money part-time as I was making on my full-time job. I reached that in less than one year. Now I've got an incredible story. I found this unique opportunity. I'm part-time, but I'm making twice as much money part-time as I'm making on my full-time job. I'm then still reluctant to go full-time because I didn't want to give up this incredible story. Finally, it only made sense to go full-time. And then the skills I learned during that period. I was a distributor for seven years, finally became an executive of the company, took the product from America to Canada. But those people who walked into my life, from my mother and my father and the little Girl Scout and Mr. Earl Schof, and then, after I came back from Canada, having made my fortune, 
moved to Beverly Hills with my family. I'm doing a seminar telling my story one day in Los Angeles, California, and in my audience walks a young man, 19 years old, and his name is Mark Hughes. Now let me tell you the big impact Mark Hughes had on my life. Make this note now. Mark Hughes, during the time he knew Jim Rohn, Mark Hughes taught me much more than I taught him. I knew him from age 19 to age 44. It's true, I was his first mentor. I shared with Mark my experience as a health and nutrition distributor, starting at the bottom and going to the top. I shared with him what I thought about this type of marketing, person to person. And I'm sure Mark used some of that when he put the products together, started the company in 1980. So I was a bit of a counselor to Mark Hughes, his first mentor. When he attended my seminar, I started sharing those ideas of personal development. When Mark sat in that first seminar, here's what I shared. You can have more than you've got because you can become more than you are. If you just remain how you are, you'll always have what you've got. But if you're willing to make changes, the next five years of your life can be totally different than the last five. If you don't change, chances are excellent the next five will be like the last five. Those philosophies I shared with Mark. Once in a while in his testimonial, here's what he used to say, Jim Rohn was the first person that gave me the idea that in spite of my background and poor circumstances and lack of education, in spite of all of that, I could make changes and become successful. Jim Rohn was the first person. You can't imagine how that made me feel. Not only all those years, but all these years. The three major influences in the life of Mark Hughes. Three major influences in the life of Mark Hughes. First was health and nutrition. Second, person-to-person -person marketing. And I told the group on Thursday, the incredible numbers that Mark achieved by the time he died two and a half years ago. Some of the most staggering numbers you will ever hear. The wealth he created for the distributors, what he created for his family, what he created in the industry, what he created for Herbal Life as a company. The numbers are absolutely staggering. I've got those numbers. I take them with me everywhere I go the little paper that I gave those numbers to the group on Thursday. This little piece of paper now is just almost worn out. When Mark died, I asked for these numbers. They're startling. This is why Michael Johnson joined the company. This is why we've got this incredible staff now headed for the future, these numbers Mark created. And if you know somebody that was in the meeting on Thursday, that unique group that qualified for Thursday, if you know somebody that was in that group, and if you treat them with great respect, they will probably share with you these numbers, these numbers. <laughs> then the third major influence in the life of Mark Hughes, I was happy to bring this idea. Here's what it's called, simply, personal development. In that first seminar, here's what I shared with Mark. We get paid for bringing value to the marketplace. You don't have to work on the marketplace, you only have to work on yourself to become more valuable and learn the skills. Let me give you a list of those skills that I learned that you can learn in Herbalife that can change your life. Here they are, number one, getting customers. Age 25, I knew how to milk cows, didn't pay very well. Then my life started to change, health and nutrition. The product I sold was similar to Formula One, Formula Two, Herbal Life. Protein wafers to snack on all day long, help you lose weight. Getting customers, first skill I learned besides milking cows, and it helped to change my life, starting part-time. 
Next skill I learn, finding good people. You just have to search. If you search, what? You will find. Finding is reserved for the searchers, not for the hopers, not for those who wish, but for those who search. And you've had enough information here already today to go back and increase your skill and ability to search until you find good people. The third skill I learned was how to organize, getting people to work together. If you want to become wealthy, this is one of the most important skills. An ancient scripture says, if two or three agree on a common purpose, nothing is impossible. I'll give you time to write that down, translate it in Spanish and whatever other language is going on here today. Here's what it says. If two or three agree on a common purpose, nothing is impossible. That's part of the miracle of Herbalife and how we have this many here today. We're going to do this again in Paris. We're going to do it again in where? Singapore, around the world. If two or three agree, the power of just two or three, doesn't need to be two or three thousand to start, doesn't need to be two or three hundred thousand to start, just two or three who agree. It was so exciting for me 19 years ago when Mark said, Jim, travel the world with me. We'll build the finest leadership team in the world. We'll someday influence the health and nutrition industry. And if we do it right, we can positively affect the lives of millions of people. Not a thousand of us, just two or three to start. And then two or three became two or three hundred, and two or three hundred became two or three thousand, and two or three thousand became two or three hundred thousand, and two or three hundred thousand became two million. And finally, we arrive here today just two or three to start in your community, in your organization. Get two or three and start working together. The next key I learned that changed my life, a unique skill called promotion. Alan Lorenz is probably the best. He knows all the dates and he knows all the meetings. He almost has the world calendar in his head. It's amazing. And he knows the reasons why. If you just do this, you'll reach this level. And if you do this, you'll reach this level. And if you just take four, you'll do this. Amazing. Learn how to promote. But here's the secret I learned in promotion. Herbalife takes care of the big steps if you'll take care of the little steps. I learned to reward people for small steps of progress. Herbalife takes care of the big steps. Get team, millionaire team, president's team, chairman's club. But if you'll take care of the little steps, learning to recognize, promote. And then here's the key that made me millions. Be so busy giving recognition to others, you really don't need it for yourself. <laughs> Next, the skill that I learned during those formative years of being a distributor, and that's communication. And it's communication in three parts. Here's those three parts. Number one, Training, showing somebody how the business works. You've had plenty of that already today. But here's the next one, which I'm trying to do a bit of as we finish here today. And that's called teaching. And I've just used two words just to separate the two. Training, showing somebody how the business works. Teaching is showing somebody how life works. When I met my teacher, Mr. Shof, he said to me, Mr. Rohn, show me your current list of goals and let's go over them and talk about them. He said, I've been around a long time. I can probably give you some good advice. And I said to him, I don't have a list. He said, Mr. Rohn, if you don't have a current list of your goals, he said, I can guess your bank balance within a few hundred dollars, which he did. And that got my attention. I said, you mean my bank balance would change if I had a list of goals? He said, drastically. I said, then I'm ready to learn how to set goals. He taught me, and it changed my life, how to set goals. So I'm asking you not only just to be a trainer, I'm asking you to be a teacher. Teach somebody leadership skills. Teach somebody communication skills. So we need life skills and business skills, and you can learn to do both, even if you're fairly new. Here's the most important on communication, learning to inspire. 
helping people see themselves better than they are, helping people see the future, helping people see not just with their eyes, but help them to see with their mind, insight. Seeing with your eyes we call sight. Seeing with your imagination we call insight. Helping people to see the vision of the future. That's what Mark brought us when he started the company. In those 20 years he was with us, he helped us to see the future. Next, help people to see the possibilities. Describe to them the potential, what's available using testimonials. There's so many testimonials now, people that started with nothing. Sarah Alfaro started with a brochure, now has this huge organization, Mexico and U.S. A brochure. The inspiration of stories, the inspiration of testimonials. It inspired me to spend the rest of my life listening to the testimonials. You know, I've been around Herbalife now 23 years. I'm now looking forward to the next 23. And under personal development, learning the skills, here's what I learned building my own organization. Learn to work with the people who deserve it, not the people who need it, because that's the way life works. Life doesn't respond to what we need. Life responds to what we deserve. It doesn't say if you need a harvest, you'll get one. It says, no, if you plant in the spring, you'll get a harvest in the fall. Reaping and harvesting belongs to the planters, not to those who need, but to those who plant. Then here's the next key. Show people how to deserve your time. Work with the people who deserve it, but show them how to deserve your time, your attention, your information. Next. Something that helped transform my career in health and nutrition, here it is. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three on your back. Just make that note. You can help a thousand, but you can't carry three. Well, if you were Anthony Powell, maybe you could carry two. But I'm telling you, he'd have problems carrying three. It's so important to get people to be independent as soon as possible. We call them independent distributors, but it seems like at first they're very dependent. And they are dependent on getting proper information, being properly inspired, helping them to set goals. But as quickly as possible, show them what they can do on their own that will start helping to establish them as a true Herbalife independent distributor. It's a great gift that you can give them. Here's what's next I learned in building my own organization. We've heard it already called duplication. Find somebody that is interested, show them what you do, let them duplicate what you do. Make it simple and easy so it's easy to duplicate. Learn to give the best invitation you possibly can. On Thursday, I gave a little scenario on how I recruited the waitress who brought me my coffee at Denny's in the morning. I gave it to the group on Thursday little scenario how I recruited the waitress. So, if you know someone that was in the room on Thursday, and if you treat them with great respect, they'll give you that little, the way Jim Rohn recruited the waitress. Okay. Next. One of the most important things I learned in building my business, here it is. As many distributors, as many customers as possible to represent each distributor, and as many distributors as possible to represent each supervisor volume. As many customers as possible to represent the distributor, as many distributors as possible to represent the supervisor volume. The key to remember in Herbalife, you don't get rich by volume, you get rich by people. Here's what else I learned. Mark Hughes knew it. It's not who you recruit, it's how many. 
All prospects are equal. There's a surprise a day waiting for you, right? When you recruit someone, you think they're going to stay, they leave. Someone you think is going to leave, they stay. Here's what you say in both instances. Isn't that interesting? I thought, sure, they were going to stay. They left. I thought, sure, they were going to leave. They stayed. Here's what I've learned to do. Discipline your disappointment, especially if it's someone you know and they try so little when they need to do it so much. I learn sometimes those that, are in, those that need it the most are inclined the least. Those that should, don't. Those that could, won't. Here's what we call that, mysteries of the mind. I don't know. Someone says, well, this product doesn't work for me. He said, it was designed not to work for some people. So, I don't know. Because I used to try to make everybody successful, found out that was impossible. I said, I'll make them successful if it kills me. I almost died, so I gave that up. Do your best to teach and inspire and instruct, and then just see what happens. Let yourself be surprised. Here's what else I found that made me rich. Sometimes it's not who you recruit, it's who they bring you that makes you rich. Mark recruited about 200 people. Most of them did not stay, but some of them before they left brought him somebody that made him rich. You must remember that. You recruit somebody and they bring somebody who brings somebody who brings somebody, and that's the person who makes you rich and have the patience to make that happen. So let me give you this quick list now as I wrap it up. Here's the first one. Have some patience, Mark said. Patience to work with a variety of personalities. Some customers are easy and some are a pain. Some distributors are easy and some are a pain. Some distributors, as soon as they're recruited, open up the bottle of tablets, pour the tablets on the table, and they count the tablets. <laughs> if it's one tablet short, they call you on the phone. If it's one tablet too many, they never call. Have the patience, do the best you can. I know sometimes patience finally runs out, but until then, do the best you can. Next, you got to have faith to believe, faith in yourself, faith in the process, faith in the plan, faith in the products. With what we've heard now about products these last few days, and especially today, you can have faith that Herbalife's going to continue to have the best products available that science can possibly produce. Here's what's next. Learn to make wise decisions. Wise decisions about yourself, your organization, your family, your future. Develop all the skills necessary to make your fortune. And by the way, speaking of fortune, jot this down. One of the early goals you should set since you're involved in some, a program that can help you get there. The goal to become financially independent as quickly as possible. Financial independent means the ability someday to live from the income of your invested resources. I want you to get there as quickly as possible. Someday you could, if you wanted to, live from the income of your invested resources so that now you can work for joy and not for necessity. When Mark had been in business about two and a half years, he had plenty of money and he could have quit. Then why did he invest all those years from the time he made enough to retire he kept on going until finally he died age 44. Why would he continue to do that? Here's why. He became financially independent so that he could then work for joy and not for necessity. I had that hop happy opportunity when I met Mark because I didn't need the money, but I did need the joy. I did need the challenge. And that's what's been exciting for me, to work here, not for the money, but for the joy. Next, consistency, day in, day out, Mark taught. 
integrity, to maintain the company's reputation for the future so that those we recruit today will have a, a future for tomorrow and ongoing. Maintain Herbalife's integrity and your own integrity to do the right thing. The next word I want to leave with you is courage. Sometimes when it all seems wrong, you just have to stay in there and have courage to stay. Courage in public. Here's some of the most important courage. Courage in private. When you've got nobody to talk to but yourself, have courage to tell yourself the truth. Here's where I really am. Here's what I'm really doing. Here's what's really going on. That kind of courage will change your life. Here's the next one, courage to change. If you've gotten some information here already today to make some changes in your program, changes in your thought, changes in your philosophy, how to do the business, make those changes. Here's the next one, courage to be silent. When it's so easy to talk. Here's the big one, courage to forgive. If somebody you've been working with and there seems to be a little tension, things aren't going well, somebody asks you to forgive, do that. Next, the courage to risk, like the farmer does every year, planting in the spring. Risk your emotions and your time and your heart. And to finish, learn the lesson of the seasons. Do the work of summer. Here's what summer's for, to nourish your values like a mother, give them life, to protect them like a father. Do the work of summer, staying the whole season. Staying till it turns, staying till it happens. As you would protect a newborn baby as a father and nourish it like a mother, so treat your organization. Next, in the harvest, when it comes, there's two things in life that are so important. Number one, the full development of all your potential. Here's the next one, the wise use of all your resources. All those years ago, I started teaching 70, 10, 10, and 10. Don't spend more than 70% of what you earn. Then 10 cents for charity, 10 cents for active capital, which is Herbalife, 10 cents for investment capital. 70, 10, 10, and 10. Some have used that. Sarah used it. Others have used it over the last 10 years to become millionaires. I was taught which works. If you want to be financially independent someday, it's called one... Two homes and one car. The average American gets two cars and one home. Here's a good advice. Two homes and one car. You buy the second car after you've bought the second home. Wise use of your resources. So do the work of summer. It's not easy, but get it done. Do wise things with your harvest. And here's the last season to finish, when the winter comes. Hopefully you'll be prepared from what you've done before the winter arrives. But the winter of surprise, the winter of death, the winter of illness, the winter of difficulties, make this note, just hang on. You know, the winter cannot last forever. There's never been a double winter. Some are difficult and some are easier. There's never been a double night. The night only lasts for a few hours, and then the day finally dawns and the shadows flee away. So I'm asking you to hang in there. That's what Herbalife had to do starting two and a half years ago when we lost Mark Hughes. The last two and a half years have been an incredible winter for me having to travel the world with a broken heart. And for all of you who knew Mark, the same experience. For the distributors who hung on during the last two and a half years, I congratulate you. You can't imagine how much I respect you for having survived these last two and a half years.
it's been a it's been a long tough winter for all of us but you've had those personal experiences in your personal life and in your business life and in your past life we're going to be rewarded for hanging in there the last two and a half years for Brian and Carol it was a tough time hanging on to the company while we you know went through a couple of CEOs trying to find the right person It was probably toughest for Jack Reynolds, father of Mark Hughes. You're not supposed to bury your son. And I know it's been a tough two and a half years for Jack. It's been a tough two and a half years for me. It's been a tough two and a half years for all of us. And some thought we weren't going to make it. When Mark died, I'm telling you, every network marketing company in the world went after Herbalife distributors. And they all said, Mark's gone, it's not going to last. With the superstar gone, with the man who founded it gone, you better come over, bring your organization, and join our company because it's over for Herbal Life. And they went after everybody. But to that invitation, 99.99999999% said, no, thank you. We're staying with Herbal Life. You can't believe how many said to me, you better come with us. Not just to you, but to me, to all of us. But we stayed and saw it through one of the tougher winters. The winter of financial resources is one thing, but the winter of a broken heart is something else. But we made it. But now, after the winter, with Michael Johnson and his team, Henry and all the rest, and the people that you have met today, with this extraordinary man, Michael, to lead us, and the others that are joining the team, and with a newfound commitment that I sense here from every distributor in this room, and the same thing happened when I was in Nice in France. I'm sure the same thing is going to happen in Paris when we arrive, and also down in Singapore. This new surge with Michael on board and everybody else and with a new commitment from everybody and with a revitalized home office staff that have done such a fantastic job seeing us through these two and a half years. Here's what I'm positive we can all say with confidence. The winter is past and springtime is here. So, here's what I want you to do. To finish the day now, I want you to shake hands or hug or do whatever comes natural to about five or six people that are around you, and I want you and them to all say to each other, winter is past and springtime is here.